Okay, the second trig lesson. Now, this lesson is going to seem a little weird and disjointed, but again, the first couple of trig lessons are important because it's giving you all of the preliminary information you need to do the more advanced stuff. Now, what I'm going to talk about are angles and something called reference triangles. So first, I'm going to talk a little bit about angles. And like I said, the lesson is going to seem a little strange and you're not going to see right away how it all ties together, but that's okay. Now, one of my favorite questions to ask <laughs> the class that's not in front of me is what an angle is. I usually, I will start writing this on the board and I'll stop and I'll ask people to tell me what an angle is. And I get some wild, crazy answers. Usually people, you know, say stuff that's reasonable. But a lot of times what I hear is, you know, people will say, oh, an angle is degrees. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, if I asked you, for the area of a rectangle, and you say, the area of a rectangle is feet. Uh, what if I measured the sides in inches? So I'll also have people, I'll say, what's the area of a rectangle? And people will just say, length times width. And I'm like, okay, that's a formula to compute the area of a rectangle. That's not telling me what the area is. This is a formula that tells me the area, but the area is the space inside of the shape. So a lot of people try to tell me that an angle, and you know what, let me tell you something. <laughs> I've read textbooks that say an angle is where two lines meet. That's a load of shit. That's how an angle is formed, kind of, not always, okay? If you turn your head 90 degrees to the right, uh, are there two lines going through your neck? No, okay, that's not what an angle is. This is how an angle can be formed, but the angle would be here, right? An angle is nothing more than a measure of a distance that you travel. But this is a special type of traveling distance, right? This isn't just a straight line. An angle is a rotational distance. That's why when I said rotate your head 90 degrees to the right, you're turning. So it's rotational. So that's what an angle is. It's a measure of rotational distance. So I've written a definition for you. An angle is a measure of rotational distance. Yeah, well, that's nice. So like anything that you can measure, there are units. You know, if I told you I was 171 centimeters, you'd be like, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I mean, if I told you I was five foot 10 inches, okay, you can understand that. Degrees, I know you all know. If I told you to turn your body 180 degrees, you would turn around and face the other way. If I told you to turn your head 1.36 radians, you would just say, what? I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. But these are just, it's like feet and inches. Or maybe feet and centimeters, the one that you don't know. <laughs> so radian is just another way to measure an angle. All right, so radians have pi in them. This is the one you don't know, and I'm gonna show you how to make them look like the ones you do know. So degrees we know, radians are more complex, but they have pi. Now, unfortunately, there is a third type of measure for angles. Fortunately, we don't do that one, yay! So degrees, we know. 90 degrees, 180 degrees. Now look, you're not gonna have to draw something like 30 degrees or 45 degrees or 50 degrees. You couldn't draw these easily without a protractor. I mean, you could kind of eyeball them. I mean, if you told me to draw 30 degrees right now, I could kind of sort of do it. I mean, it's kind of around there. I mean, I know 90 is like this, right? So it's like a third of the way to 90. I mean, you know, you could kind of eyeball it. It's not perfect, but you know, you could kind of do this. Now, radians, these, these angles have pi in them, where pi is 3.14. So you might have something like 2 pi over 3. You might have something like 5 pi over 4. And you're like, what the hell is that supposed to be? This is the point. This is a different unit of measure. So you're not supposed to know what the hell angle this is. What I'm going to show you to do is to figure out what angle this is in degrees. You are not going to go the other direction. Going from degrees into radians, you do do this, and you can do this. First of all, it's more complex to go from degrees into radians because you have to add a pi into this, and it's, it's more difficult to do, and it's more of a pain. I am not going to make you ever express your answers in radian form, okay? Now, some professors will. Later on, we're going to be solving equations. We're going to be getting answers and stuff. You're going to get like an answer like, oh, x equals 30 degrees. Some teachers want you to convert them into radians. I don't. 
You will never do that with me. I'm going to have you take your radians and put them into degrees. So I'm going to show you that now. Now the key to converting back and forth between radians and degrees is the pi thingy. Like I said before, pi is 3.14. You all know that. 3.14 or da 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 whatever. But pi is also 180 degrees. Pi can be represented in radians or degrees. That's what allows you to go in both directions. So whenever I want to convert from radians into degrees, I'm just going to replace the pi with 180 and simplify. So it's very easy.